Death Metal Podcast. They're more than welcome to come on too anytime you want to come on. Oh man, those girls pop good like Alright. It's a budget thing. Let's see where he's up to. Thank you, man, and thank you for giving me the time. Just tune in right now. You're listening to another episode of the Deathmatch Russell podcast. My guest at this time on the podcast, co host of MIW Wrestle yeah. Rage podcast, Danny Beals. How you doing, my friend? You know what? I'm all right, man. Doing well. Doing good. Doing good. Some worse than others, you know. I know, I know. I, I, I think Cody uh, Cody has a podcast right now with Mr. Fitness, I think, believe, tonight. And it's going to be episode airing tomorrow, I think. Yeah. I believe. I've uh, I've had the honor. Of, he's a character. He's a character, man. He's, a, he's oh. one of those guys. He could have, he throws stuff on the, he mixes drinks on the air with his Twinkies. It's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I met, uh, I met Fitness, oh, probably. Uh, six years or seven years ago, and mm -hmm. uh, and from from right from day one, uh, mm -hmm. the the guy's just a guy who you like, you know. Um, I right. couldn't I couldn't say anything bad about the guy, you know, and mm -hmm. I'd probably bust in the mouth someone who did. <laughs> yeah, last night actually, Cody and I talked about you a little bit back, so I got a little background check on you, so how long you've been with him for a long time. You guys been together quite a long time, you and Cody. Yeah, I did. And Josh. Uh, yeah, well, I did. Um, let me see. I did. I co-hosted Wrestling Rage ten times before I was uh, became full time. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and then we've been doing the. Uh, um, we've been doing MI Dub together since I think, like September, like the second week in September. Um, mm -hmm. Man, it, it's crazy. Uh, it's fun, isn't? Podcasting is so much fun. It really is. Like oh. we tell tell our we could we could go on and on. And if you ever get you you know when the guests come on, it's just great. Inter it's just great stories all together. You know. Oh yeah, for it. sure. I mean, because I mix it up, as, as you see, I like independent wrestling as well as deathmatch wrestling, which is really cool, you know. And right. I support, you know, and yes, I do watch WWE once in a while. Still, I still, you know, NXT. See who, you know, who's mm -hmm. in, who's coming up in the rankings and whatnot, you know. Yeah, um, I I still watch a little bit of WWE. Um, mm -hmm. I have an eleven year old who's yeah. gonna be twelve yeah. next month. And, uh, you know, he still likes to watch it and mm -hmm. I watch it with him because, you know, when I was a kid, yeah. um, that's how I got into all this was, um, my dad was, my dad was friends with like Haystack Calhoun and, uh, Bobo Brazil and Dick oh, the no sh yeah. no way. Wow. Um, my, my dad was a bouncer when I, you know, um, mm -hmm. so he met all these guys and they would always come to Port Huron and do these indie shows or like the old, um, NWA territories, mm -hmm. and he would always take me to the show. So, I my first show, I remember I was probably four years old. No kidding, yeah, wow, wow, wow. yeah. I was telling Cody on, on the podcast last night, or or one night, we had a conversation, and I told him I was like early 80s, mid, mid 80s. I actually went to a local promotion, it was NWF Wrestling, National Wrestling, you know, the NWF. Uh -huh. Territory and Bruiser Brody was there. Oh man! And Doctor D. David Schultz, like he is one of my favorites. You know, he. I, I said it the other day. D. David Schultz is probably mm -hmm. one of the most forgotten heels. One of the greatest forgotten heels mm -hmm. um, of of my time, of my yeah. you know my parents' time, of, of these younger guys coming up. Uh, they don't remember who he is, but man, he was a great heel. He was, he was. I mean, he came out to the ring like a badass. It was pretty cool, like just to see him. And then I actually, like you know, I had him on a podcast. And then you look on Dark Side of the Dark Side of the Ring, and there he is on Dark Side of the Ring for that that vice, uh, you know, documents that they've been mm -hmm. doing lately, which is really cool. You know, you see, it's it's amazing what these guys have gone through. You know, oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, and uh, um, you know, that's what I love about indies. Is yeah. you see guys coming up, then you get mm -hmm. to see guys on their way back down. You know when they when they've gone their stuff, they 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 been to the top or as close to the top as you know as as they're gonna get there, and then you watch them just come back down, and you get to you know 
indie wrestling to me gives you a chance to meet guys who mm -hmm. when I was a kid, I would have yeah. never been able to dream of meeting them, you know? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean like Jake the Snake Roberts, like put, put you know, like like seeing him at a local shoe store signing an autograph, and then like weeks later he's on TV, you know, like come on. Yes. You, you know, it's like a, it's amazing. I mean, but, you know, like I always tell everybody, independent wrestling really, you know, in my neck of the woods, the mid 90s really launched the, the big indie names like it was a promotion called called Phoenix Championship Wrestling. And it was run by a guy named Donnie B. His brother is actually Supernova of ECW. Oh, uh -huh. Well, all the top guys like you would see Samoa Joe to uh the you know all the names that you wouldn't see on on the low roster cards like impact and you know all these promotions just came through the door frankie gazarian to you know just name it you know right to, you know mm -hmm. pretty you know, it, and plus it was really cool it was really cool because we had guys like wcw superstar malice aka the wall yes you know, was a real local guy from the town. My buddy would work out, and I see him around town once in a while too. It was always cool, like amazing. Like you don't know who's in your town. You know what I mean? Like you get a surprise. That's it. You know, um, I I tell this one of my favorite stories to tell is uh, when I was um, working with Blue Water Blue Water Championship mm -hmm. Wrestling, mm -hmm. and the promoter, um, who's a who's a good friend of mine, um, he asked me. Uh, he said. Hey, Dan, can you do me a favor? Yeah, sure. What do you need? Um, I need you to drive to, to Detroit for me. Drop mm -hmm. somebody off by the airport. Mm -hmm. I'm like, all right, yeah. Um, he said, the problem is you got to leave halfway through the show to do it. Mm -hmm. I wasn't real thrilled about it. Um, <laughs> but he told me, he's like, it's an animal. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the kid in me just went nuts, dude. <laughs> To, to be able to, I get two hours with Animal to just be able to, to talk wrestling with Animal. Who gets that? Mm. You know, who who gets that? That to be able to sit down and, and have a conversation with Animal. Mm. It was amazing. Yeah, uh, you know what? I got to meet Hawk. Uh, was it Animal? Yeah, Animals. He's still around. You know, it's mm -hmm. amazing. Yeah. I mean, he was at my local promotion uh, when I was part of a sponsorship at the time, like over the summertime, and you know, just cool to see these guys still this active. He was to play the man manager role, like ringside, <laughs> you know. Yep, I actually have a spike from uh, um, his shoulder pads. Oh, cool! It fell off of his shoulder pads and in my vehicle, and I, yeah. I picked it up um, when I got home the next day. I I found it, and uh. So I messaged him and I asked him, what do you want me to do with it? Do you want me to give it back to Andy or do you want me to, you know, what do you want me to do? He's like, no, man, keep it. I was like, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Golden, you know, that's like gold, you know? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> like to be, how much of a, how much of a collector are you? Are you a big collector? You know what? Um, Not really. Like I'm not, not I like, not I so am. Much. Yeah. Um, Pictures. You know, um, yeah, autograph pictures are the best. That's yeah, the most, yeah, stuff yeah. like that. I'm more into. I have a few things here and there that I mm -hmm. picked up along the way. Um, mm -hmm. You know, just a few. Um, really, the ones that mean something to me. I just don't collect everything. You know, it's, no, it's, yeah, I, yeah. I, I don't have a belt. I don't have the belts. I don't. You know. Well, you know what? I'm a firm believer. And if you carry it to a to an event, you have to defend it. You got it. Yeah, you're sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I was actually thinking of maybe getting one custom one made for my 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 company, you know, right? My podcast Deathmatch also would kind of look pretty sweet though. That would like, be cool. Just, cool. Wear that to a show and people are like, what the hell is that? <laughs> you want to defend me in a hardcore match? Deathmatch? No I'm kidding. <laughs> but no, uh, yeah, I've you know over the years you collect, but autographs, man. I'll tell you why. You, you, you I remember just like going conventions. Like conventions were always a fun thing to do. I mean, if you ever been to a lot mm -hmm. of those conventions where you could spend lots of money on an autograph, oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> um, Cody, Josh, and I, and a couple mm -hmm. of my brother-in-law and a friend of ours, um, and and my son, um, we went and seen Ric Flair at Kobo mm -hmm. um, when he was there at the Autorama this year. Mm -hmm. And you know what, man? I used to love. 
to stand in those long lines. But uh, you know, I, I realized I don't know if it's I'm getting old. You know, it doesn't do for me what it used to. But mm. man, you know, we were like six hours in line, and I, I won't do it again. I mean, yeah, I did it because it's Ric Flair. Gotta um, do, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I don't know how many other people I do it for. I mean, I waited a few hours mm. for Roman. Mm -hmm. Um, AJ Styles. Um, he was awesome. We were, we were like behind where they said they were gonna stop doing it. And right. AJ said, "You know what? Give me like a twenty minute break, and I'll come out and I'll sign for everybody who's in line." And he did. I mean, the mm -hmm. guy, the guy is just solid. He's great. He's a great worker. He's done so many indie sh like he was in that promotion too as well. Grown, going through that, you know, the gates, mm -hmm. which was cool. And I remember seeing him just like on the indie scene, like just wow, Ring of Honor. When Ring of Honor was so popular, he was really killing it. You know, but you know, I, I've met I've met so many, mm -hmm. um, so many people had so, developed great relationships through through mm -hmm. wrestling um it truly is when they say it's a brotherhood it truly is mm -hmm. um you know everybody looks out for everybody um for the most part you know right but i mean i mean you know um just to be able to meet some of the guys who i've met and you know the guys i talk to like on a daily basis or at least a month weekly monthly basis mm -hmm. It's just awesome, you know, and and of course it brought Josh, Cody, and I together. We, we wouldn't be together if it wasn't for independent wrestling, you know. Mm -hmm. None of this would have happened without that. No, you're right. You're right. Yeah, I know uh, Cody's talked about it. None of us knew each other before. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's like me as a wrestling fan, you know. You just go to a show and you you sit there in front row. You spend the money. Hey. And then you become friends with the owner after a couple weeks. You know, it's like, wow, this is fun. I enjoy yeah. it. You know, you know, you get your money's worth. And, and, mm -hmm. yeah. and there, there's something for everybody. You know, mm -hmm. um, if you're into the hardcore death matches, you can find an indie company, you, you know, for that. Um, if you're into more family friendly, you mm -hmm. can find that. If you're the in-betweener, you can find that. You know, um, I mean, around here we have. Um, we have XICW, which is kind of you know it's in between. Um, mm -hmm. It's ran by um, by uh, the Monroe family, you know, and anybody um, you know the, the, that's a big name, you know, the the Monroes are, are a big name. Right. Um, and you have um, BCWA, that's family friendly. Um, mm -hmm. You have uh, BWCW, which is on a hiatus right now, but they're they're more of a family friendly. Um, mm -hmm. And then you have Horror Slam. They're um, amazing. Yeah, they do. You know, it's, a horror amazing. slam. If, yeah. If you're into deathmatch wrestling, um, man, check it out. Go on, you know, find it. Go on YouTube, wherever you can find it at. Go. If you live in Michigan, go down, check out a show once we can all start doing this again. Mm. Yeah. You're right. I mean, I wish I could go out to, you know, but I live at the shore. It's a little, a little distance to be traveling there. Right, right. <laughs> You know, East Coast and the West Coast, mid Midwest, mm -hmm. you know. The farthest I've actually – go ahead. Go ahead. I was, was going to say the farthest – I think I, I even said that in the chat room that one day. Like, I five hours to IWA Mid-South. I've done about five-hour ride to uh, eight, six hours maybe to IWA Mid-South when, when I've done my road journeys. Right. I think we've done – I think two and a half hours is, is as far as we've gone right now. Mm -hmm. But we're planning on going down to uh, – Future, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, future great. Um, yeah. and um, I would love to, I would love to venture, you know, your way towards the east coast. Um, <laughs> I'm a huge west coast guy, too. You know, I love championship wrestling from Hollywood. Um, mm -hmm. Pyramid that's in um, Las Vegas. Um, you know, I, I love the west coast style because there's yeah. not a lot out there, there's not a lot of promotions out there, and um, you know, I've talked to some guys who said, really, out in the West Coast, you're wrestling for nothing. You're wrestling to get the experience. Um, mm -hmm. So you meet guys who really want to be in the sport. And there's and there's one one promotion that I like to, sh you know, I I I like. They're 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 a small little company. You know, it's called Blood uh, Blood Brothers Wrestling. 
Blood Brothers Wrestling. It's uh, you know, they they bring in the death match guys for the. Mm -hmm. They they've had uh, they've had Matt Tremont. They've had uh, Sh Schlack. They've had you know, Homeless Jimmy. He's the they're local right. guys. You know, which is really cool. Homeless Jimmy's still around. He, it's amazing. <laughs> He's still around kicking. I mean, he crashed on my couch. I I had the honor of had him crash on my couch one time for That's show. Cool. I know that's cool. It is, and then I had a, a whole bunch. It's pretty cool because you get, to, you know, like I always say, people say, "Hey, they're not, they're 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 cool people behind." This. You know, I've had like the whole almost like five uh, about four of the uh, IWA Mid South guys actually come hang out at my house, you know, and just enjoy the weekend. And then I've actually had Mexicans from Japan, uh, the the you know the Mexican promotion mm -hmm. there. Uh, that, which is real popular zona that's where that's where i first yeah. saw um death match and, and hardcore was mm -hmm. uh out of japan i think the first one i seen was cactus jack versus terry funk and, and blew your mind blew your mind oh, yeah. yes i mean just just amazing and, I, and I, if i'm right mm -hmm. and, and i i'm having to pull from way back to remember where i seen it i think it was um CP had a video out of mm -hmm. of death matches from Japan, and uh, you know when um, death matches from Japan, as you know, are, mm -hmm. are way different than they are here. Yeah, because I know, and and it's it and it's a big respect now, man. Because uh, oh, you know yeah. we we because we you know we've had my one promotion. I'm sure you've seen it, it's on the internet all the time. Game Changer Wrestling, GCW. Mm -hmm. You know they they've traveled to Japan and they brought guys from Japan also over to the states to wrestle. You know, just to to show them what they could do. And right, my God, like to see Jun Kasai in the states. Like, you know, he was in the states a long yeah. time, like a long time ago for the Combat Zone. You know, like when CZW was real popular. You mm -hmm. know, and they've even brought Odita over. You know, and I I was blown away to meet Odita. You know, just to guys that I looked up, you know, that really right. moved the way for the death match, you know, in Japan wrestling style. But, you know, I've been, like I said, I'm, I think that's why I'm part of the, you know, I, I enjoy mm -hmm. West coast wrestling too, because um, I'm more of a, um, I, I, they tell me it's because I'm old. The guys tell me because I'm old, but uh, mm -hmm. um, I'm kind of the historian of the group, mm -hmm. um, you know, but I love, I love Japanese style wrestling. Um, mm -hmm. It's a whole different aspect of. I would sport. like that. I mean, that's like a dream, the bucket list, just to go to Japan, just to go watch yeah. it. You know, for just the, to, and eat some the, good food. For, for, <laughs> the, for, for, for the G one climax, I mean, come on, mm -hmm. that would be that would be awesome to go there. Um, I wanted to go back when they had the New Japan. Um, when you know when New Japan was trying to take over wrestling in Japan, mm -hmm. um, from uh, IW, IW or IWP or mm -hmm. IWG, I wanted to go then because man, that was that was that was a time in Japan where it, it mm -hmm. changed the whole industry there. You know, mm -hmm. it was almost like the NWO coming to you know when when they formed in WCW. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. You know, and but the fans are are different in Japan too. Um, they are. They it's, are. It's more. It's more of respect. Um, mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. if you heard if you heard a, a quiet house here, um, mm -hmm. everybody would think that the the show wasn't good or that the wrestlers weren't doing their thing over there. It's quiet. You know, they. It they, is. If if I mean, if you had if you had Kabash or or you had Kenta, you know, versus Omega, or you had you know like all the guys that you really. You know that we're, you know, and, and you know the New Japan really showed, the, you know, like what they were, you know, and yes, you know, and, and if you know, that's like the the respect of what Ring of Honor used to be. You remember how that used to be a respect, and it still is till this day. It's amazing. Yeah. But yeah, you know, I I was like, that's trying to mm -hmm. trying to make a comeback, you mm -hmm. know, um, that. That promotion, like I said, um, you know, is what I would watch um, on TV. That one in Hollywood, um, the mm -hmm. PP3 tournament, has put. we've seen some of the greats, you know, from 
independent wrestling in that P3 tournament. And mm -hmm. then they've moved on to the WWE, you know, or Impact. Yeah. I mean, at NWA, they, they, you got Homicide, you got Eddie Kingston, you got Ziggy Dice, you got the list, the list could go on and on of guys that who are just local independent yeah. wrestlers and, you know, and still active. Mm -hmm. it, it is, uh, and I hope it stays this way um, after we can all get back and start going to shows again. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. From like from 2015 forward, um, what a time to be a wrestling fan! You know when these mm -hmm. when these smaller promotions started coming up, um, mm -hmm. which led to the older promotions start coming back. And mm -hmm. you know, um, what a great time to be a wrestling fan! I mean, it's like it's like it's like going. It's like she. It's like when the first time I met Matt Tremont. And he went to CZW, wrestled at CZW, and then he owns his own promotion in Williamstown, New Jersey, and runs a whole bunch of shows, even deathmatch shows. Like, it's a, it's a different atmosphere. It's, it's a warehouse. Like, it's a warehouse. You could fit about 20 people, 30 people uh, to 100 people in that building. And, man, mm -hmm. talk about, like, you know, a difference in what it looks like on fight TV or just, you know, a basic normal sellout show, you know? It's just yeah. the hype. The hype yeah. is there. I mean, even the other promotions that they bring in too, which I like to go to. It was just like there's some, so many fun promotions. Like my friend, and I'm a sponsor of his. Uh, it's uh, the intergender intergender bonanza. It's like a fun, you know, like mixed up superstars. You know, it's just yeah, great. Yeah. That, that's it. You know, it's um, you know, what I love about indie wrestling is you know I, I remember um, a fed. That used to say anything can happen. You remember that? Um, but truly, when you're when you go to an indie show, you have no clue what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. you, know, you don't know who's going to show up. You don't know no. what's going to happen. Um, and and that's what I love about it. I mean, I you know when I first went to wrestling, you know the the local promotions came around. Then this one promotion came around, and I got hooked on going. And then the guy was a jerk. He was a carny, you know. But then we all knew about it, and after, and stop, you know, doing the business. It was insane, right? But, right. But he had all the big names. He had all the talents, man. He brought everybody in from ECW to WCW, mm -hmm. WWE. You know, guys were just, you know, making a name for himself. Balls Mahoney was the local, you know. Um, I love. Ace, um, mm -hmm. that was he. He could, um, he he was one of those guys where he could make you laugh, beat your brains in. You know, I mean, it mm -hmm. was great. He was, I know, I became good friends with him after like the years. Just him and him, him and uh, the Candido family actually. Uh, just there's another guy, you know. Man, I just wish these guys, you know, had, but they had their time. You oh. know, they did. They they paved the way for us hardcore wrestling too, you know. I mean, yeah. just and like the, like like I've told Cody on my previous, and I tell every single person on my podcast, I tell the story over and over. Eighteen years old, I worked at a dollar store, and this guy comes walking in. It's Balls Mahoney. I don't know who he was, you know, as as a stock and shelf, some stock and shelves, and. Uh, yeah, you know, I didn't know what ECW was, and somebody's like, "Yeah, he's a wrestler on TV." I'm like, what? You know, and then I got hooked into ECW. After that, like, I got right. started studying up on it, and then holy shit, it's like here he is. You know, made a friend to the end. You know, <laughs> it was crazy this ride. But you know what? I'm gonna show you. You want to see something? You want to see a souvenir? My favorite souvenir. Sure, go ahead, man. I put this on camera for Cody, and he blew my mind. He was blown away. Balls Mahoney steel chair signed by Locked and Loaded. Oh, yes. nice. Yes. That is sweet. That is original, <laughs> you know? I mean, that was that, that, was that right, promotion. Right. See, that, that was that actually kind of stuff. Stuff. That was that promotion, Phoenix Championship Wrestling. I got that. Yeah. 
nice. Yeah, that's that's the kind of stuff that I collect, you know. Yeah. Um, stuff that not everybody's got, you know. Um, oh, actually, I do have down in my basement. I, I work at a. I'm a garbage man. Okay. So, my coworker is uh -huh. works on, on a metal on a metal truck, and somebody threw away a pay per view pick a pay per view chair of Mick Foley on it with SummerSlam. Yeah. So I got it. The thick patty. Oh, the thick patty. Yeah. Right, right. And I, think, I looked online. I think and I was Cody's like, got one in in the studio. I can't remember mm -hmm. what he's from. And then we have uh, we have a guy that um it is it, you know it's another one of those things it's kind of funny. I call him a friend. We've never actually met you know in person. Mm -hmm. Um but his name is Craig and man the guy collection like oh no, um, the stuff that he's got, he's always throwing stuff up and be like, Hey, this out, and it makes me drool, and then he takes it, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's, but uh, it's amazing, it's just amazing. Uh, it, it is, it's, it's the we all have some, you know, um, mm. we all have that, that time, um, we all have that one guy, we all have. That reason we're a fan. Um, who who are your big? Anyway, it's. Oh, oops, sorry. I was gonna say, who are your influences growing up? Like, who would you like watching growing up in WWF? Paul Orndorff to Mister Rick Rude to uh, you know the WWF era when it was really like I was never. Right, right. Um, I think for for WWF, yeah, it's funny because I found NWA. Um. Mm -hmm. Long before I was WWF, even though it was closer to me, you know, we were in the WWF region. But mm -hmm. I found World Championship Wrestling. Um, you know, I, w I was a more of a Southern guy, you know, when it came to to wrestling. But uh, mm -hmm. I think my, the big one in WWE um, were probably Bobby Heenan for sure. I loved Bobby Heenan. The Weasel, um, yes, gotta love the Weasel. Gotta love Bobby Heenan and Howie. Yeah. Howie. Um, I was t I was telling Cody a story about how I got to see him when he, at a at a convention in Pennsylvania, and it was a wrestle reunion, and they had wrestling uh, matches too, and that's when Bobby was looking really bad, and he was in the ring with Jim Cornette wrestling. Yeah, it was, ba it was bad. I I didn't want to get an autograph. You know, I really felt like I wanted to, but. You know, but he was one of those guys that you looked up to, in I, the, yeah. right? As a manager, yeah. We really were gonna go see. Don't we're lagging. Uh, before we we're supposed to go see him is when he passed away. So, um, mm -hmm. him, like I said. Either. Bruiser Brody was one of my was one of my favorites. Um, mm -hmm. the, I absolutely aren't there. Uh, yeah, I wasn't um, the only faces that I um, mm -hmm. was uh, JYD, but that's because I remembered him from when he was in the Mid South. Mm -hmm. He was a bad guy there, you know. Um, Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I I've always liked them. There, I was I wasn't the guy who rooted, you know, for like Hogan. Um, WrestleMania two and and the lead up to WrestleMania two. Um, I remember my dad looking at me like crazy because he is just Avalor again. Well, I should just. I think I should. Bundy. <laughs> yeah. Did you see? It? I've I've talked about this WrestleMania five, brother. WrestleMania Five with my old man, Atlantic City, New Jersey. Fifty dollars a oh, ticket. That's back cool. <laughs> Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars back um, then. Marty is crazy. Marty, mm -hmm. Marty. You is, know, you know what? Crazy. You know, you know, funny. You, funny thing was, Marty was actually at a local show, and I was like, you know what? Let me just have him sign it, even though they he lost, the, you know, the match at WrestleMania. Yeah, you know, it would have been mm -hmm. cool to see. See him live there, you know, but I, 
I told him I was up in the nosebleeds, you know? Yeah. Right, right. Really, I yeah, like how yeah. I, uh, you, want, you want to tell your story behind that? I, um, the nose, okay. All right, let's say, let's, well, I have to tell everybody, you know, the WrestleMania story. My dad and I got tickets. We sat up in the nosebleeds, and I five rows next to us, Jesse the Body Ventura and Gorilla Monsoon doing commentary were right there, and I had Mega Power sign up. <laughs> wow. That, yeah. was, that would have been cool. But you um, know what? But it was really cool. You, know, was, I cool. you heard the thump of the ring. You heard the thump of the ring through the microphone, and – an honor it was to hear Howard Finkel announce WrestleMania, you know, all the matches that night, which was, you know, mm -hmm. right. Yeah. yeah. That was a huge loss. Huge loss. Mm -hmm. when, uh, I know. I seen the thing. It wasn't with us. That was, that one. It was that emotion because he's, he's the guy who I remember, you know, Howard Finkel. Um, mm -hmm. So he did was, uh, was, Hilarious. Just um, I know every time you during the attitude just, era. Mm -hmm. I think we're lagging a little bit. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we're lying. There's there's a storm coming. Yeah, there's, there's a there's a storm here hitting. Yeah. Here. We've got one pretty soon, I think. Mm -hmm. It rained a little bit, but I think we got one in here. Yeah, wind's picking up. I hear it. <laughs> you know, um, what what is uh, uh, um, I got to sit down with the franchise for about forty five minutes and and just talk wrestling. Um, mm -hmm. it was it was. In my always, you know, to be able to sit and, and he's talking about, you know, in ECW, he's talking about his day in uh, mm -hmm. WWE and some stage stuff that I won't talk about. Um, but uh, yeah. it, was, it was just, he, you know, just just amazing. Um, you know, um, we talked anybody like that in a, in a while um mm -hmm. i was good friends with matt Bourne, and uh, me and matt used to talk a lot and then um when he passed away as a matter of fact when he passed for a little oh we're freezing you hear me There it goes. There it goes. Uh oh. Yeah, I got you loving clear. Okay, cool. It's, it, it is the storm. Yeah. <laughs> Fans, don't worry. We can't do nothing about that. <laughs> there you go. Huh? huh? Yeah, it's really lagging now. That's not good. Ooh, I can't. I don't know. I'm not a professional with that. Lagging stuff. Where's Cody at? <laughs> Where's Everett? Where's my buddy Everett? Right. There you go. But um, yeah, stories like you could, you could just sit down with all these guys and really have a, a, a sit down. And I heard that you are going to be writing a, his, a book on wrestling. I heard. Yeah, the his. Uh, I'm going to be. Um, I'm in the very very beginnings. Um. And I'm reaching out to a few guys that I know um, mm -hmm. that are basically Michigan. Um, and I'm going to put together a book that's um, going to be specifically the history um, independent and wrestling in Michigan. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to do, um, you know, we're going to cover the, the Indies. I would love to be able to go back, if anybody knows, to the very first match in Michigan, you know, that, that was publicized. Um, we're going to include because Michigan had a big um, midget wrestling too was big in Michigan, um, mm. especially in the the south part of the state. So mm. um, I have a few friends that, that are you know that are um, midget wrestlers too, and um, 
They're gonna we're gonna sit down. We're gonna do interviews. Mm -hmm. Small day before it's even taken off. It's a good thing, you know. I'm not I'm not complaining at all. Um, mm -hmm. but it's gonna work. Um, some of the stories. Um, hopefully I can get um get some of the pictures to go with it, and mm -hmm. um, we might even do a video um version you were mm -hmm. the plan is down with the guys to record interviews mm -hmm. number one because um i have a very short term memory so <laughs> um but it's you know get that all in there um it, it's gonna be fun you know yeah. um i'm looking forward to it mm -hmm. and it just you know it's it's something that uh, like with um, MIW, yeah. um, it's something else that just nobody else has done. That I felt that people would enjoy. You know, that's how we started. Cody talked about it. We mm -hmm. we started MI because and those polls and that filled a need that and, no one else was feeling. And that poll is is taking off that you guys did. That was very good. We were talking about that last on oh, the podcast. Okay. That really. Yes. Old people in, and you got new guys, people tap, and people coming in to MI Dub. You know your your, your group yeah. chat, your group chats. That's good. That's what you want. You mm -hmm. want to establish new new people and fans that yeah. don't know about it as well. You know, like me. <laughs> you know, but I I think I'm going to be a fan now. So mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and that's it. You know, um, mm -hmm. man, we are we are, we are so humbled. Yeah, I'm so. Out there, we're just three guys, man. Three guys who like candy rest. That's all we are. That's and, good. Uh, um, but the, the the people who don't, you know, um, we're not treated that way. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. um, we have been we have been that in, uh, you know, treated like brothers. Um, mm -hmm. and and then with the, um, uh, I. It still doesn't strike when I say, yo, you know, I don't know where you're at with that yet, but for us to say, oh, we, you know, fan the show still sounds scared. Um, mm. But it's great, you know, and we you know, appreciate and, every single one. And, and you know what you get out of this? You get friends like me, and you get people, you know, it's it's awesome. We're going to have a really, you know, if we're going to be friends till the end, yeah, which is going to be cool. You know, and we'll see you each other at a show or something. You know, you never know. You never know. You know. Mm -hmm. that, 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 you know. Um, it, it it's awesome to, like you said, mm -hmm. to see people who mm -hmm. I might only see at the shows. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah. And you're so yeah. glad to see them. You're so happy that they're there. Mm -hmm. and, you know, it, like when Jeff, like I put a chat. Uh, I have a when, picture. Oh, I have a, oh. a video when when Jeff King came to wrestle down here at the H two O show. He actually gave me a hug. Man, he knew who yes. I was. He knows. He knows Jeff who I King am. Is, dude, Jeff King is. Oh, yeah, he. he is, mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I it's been put into words. The guy is just. He's a, he's a great man. Mm -hmm. A great man. I'll send you that video later. I think you'd get a kick out of it. Yes, just please to, do. Um. Mm -hmm. Actually, maybe, you know, I'll just send, uh, ooh, maybe I'll just send you the match. Up, hmm. up on my. Oh, there you go. Uh, hey, I'd appreciate that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I can record that. No problem. Yeah, you know, a couple of guys looked me out person. Mm -hmm. uh, Nate Manson, you know, amazing Nate Manson. Um, mm -hmm. Guys like uh, um, Dave DuPont. Um, they have, you know, they, they've invested in me. Um, mm -hmm. I don't be want to be that annoying. I don't learn. Um, yeah. You know, we, hey, always, we, all, we could all I, be annoying. I, I always study. <laughs> you know, I could be annoying. Well, that's it. You know what I think? 
if I'm asking too much, tell me to shut up. I don't take that personal. No, you know? I don't care. I don't give a shit. I have fun with you guys. We're, that's what we do is have fun, right? You know, podcasting is all about fun. And if people don't like it, they can yeah. take their two. They can just delete this chat, right? <laughs> or delete the room. <laughs> I don't think anybody's. I don't think See, now you're seen. sounding. <laughs> I'm not Joe Rogan. That could be a Joe. Oh God! Uh, there, there's a guy. Hey, he's, you who do you? Who? I was going to ask you, what other podcasts do you enjoy? Do you like the Stone mm -hmm. Cold Steve Austin's podcast? I do. I just, I just started really getting, um, getting into them mm -hmm. um, within the last couple of years. Did you? Um, did you catch? Stone did you Cold, catch? Did, uh, I was two episodes. I want you to. I'm. I don't know if you caught them yet. Joey Janela. From Game Changer Wrestling and Ricky Shane Page, two good interviews with the Deathmatch wrestler Ricky Shane Page. Right, yeah, you would be interested. That'd be a good one to listen to. Talks about his career on IWA, you know where he grew up in the, you know, with his era from Combat Zone and his experiences. Right. You know, going to Japan too. Also, you know. Yeah. Uh -huh. you know I, I know when I watch is uh, um, mm. I like Jericho. Um, Jericho has some good. You know, Jericho doesn't do any. Yeah, I, I like it. You know, and that's what I like about the Stone Cold one too. Is um, mm. you know, he doesn't care if you don't mm. like it. Oh yeah. well, you know. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I gave and, up on uh. You know, that, I, I, gave up, I gave up. I gave up on Cornette. I gave up on Cornette because he just bashes everybody on Twitter. That's all. You know. <laughs> He does you know, that, corny he, is um, Jericho always is uh on battle yeah, I, with my with a I lot mean, of the death two of the deathmatch guys or Joey Janela and G Raver, you know. There's just two sore thumbs, you know. Right, right. Um, you know, I, I, another guy that I that I enjoy watching, Deathmatch guy. Mm -hmm. Um Jimmy Lloyd. Um, Different I boy. I really enjoyed Jimmy Lloyd, and that Different guy's boy. Quality. Yeah, yeah, he's a great kid. He's a great <laughs> performer. He's a he's a he's a lazy son of a bitch. Yes, <laughs> he doesn't care about getting fucked up. I've seen this. I actually, you know, I saw this the famous stab of the scissors. Yes, pop out at the match. Insane. Oh. I know. Uh -huh. it, was, it was it was a sight. Yeah. But Jimmy yeah. Lloyd has a great you know, future. It, it, it's funny because oh, yeah, he's humble, man, guy. He's mm -hmm. just he like talks that. to you know he talks to anybody. Um, mm -hmm. Who? Just like Matt Tremont, also you know the the fifteen time you know bulldozer. Yeah. He's very. You know, he's very, he's done it all. <laughs> like, it's impressive. Like, and how he runs a promotion and this and that. It's insane. He does it. And he it, he always talks about his collectibles, man. He has a shop that he had for a long time at a flea market, you know? And then it closed down. But he still does it in the shop at the wrestling yeah. school. Yeah. Oh. It's just amazing, man. But anyway, say, you know, it, what? It, oh, it, sorry. It, it, Go ahead. I'm sorry. No, um, it, you know, I don't know about where, where here. He, Motions that are not here. There's so many. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> like you said about the, the tournament, you know, um, thing is Z. We are those guys that I thought were do really well. Um, I was surprised, you know, that I'm a little lower than um, and eat a in the no man. We're gonna blow up. Um, 
but it's you know the the top top guys, top mm -hmm. guys in Michigan are, are all fighting it out right now, and I love it. The you know, top guys in fighting it out right now. Mm. It's just a great time for wrestling. Like you, it, like it's just the time is just right. And once this, once this is all cleared, the smoke is cleared. We're back to our wrestling. Am I? Am I? You know, when you go to your shows again, it's just gonna. It's like you're missing. It's like we're missing action. You know, we can't wait to go back. And just oh like yeah. yeah, yeah. I've uh, I spent a lot of time watching matches. Uh, a lot of them. Be watching match. Watched before. You know. Um, trying to find, you know, it'll be back. You know, I mean, there, there's no doubt about it. Um, the one thing that I've years is never will. Um, the people won't. Die. The workers won't. Die. The fans won't let it die. We'll be back. Mm. You know what? Once this, well, I'd like to come. I'd like to have you come back again. I think once this weather is better, our audio will be better. <laughs> I feel bad. It's like skipping. Right. Out. Yeah, you know, it, you know, it's something. Huh? Mother it's, Nature. It's Mother Nature. I would love to come back. You know what? I told Cody yesterday, yeah, my audio one day. I got it I got it fixed, you know, and then the next day it took the shit. <laughs> I'm like, yes, it's always an audio issue. Oh, yeah. Would. You know what? It, it well, uh, that's the one thing that he found doing um, doing mm -hmm. wrestling rage and uh, Michigan Independent Weekly is mm -hmm. you're always going to be something. There's always this for always something. You know, to us, it's kind of it's fun just knowing what you're going to get. Yeah. It's like a box of chocolates, you know? You never know what you're going to get. <laughs> there you go. But you know what? I want to say thank you so we've much. Gone for to, we've gone to the oh. oh, go ahead. Oh, we've, we've walked down in, into the studio, and Josh, and uh, here Cody down there. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> and so we're, we're a little afraid to open the door. <laughs> um, you, you know, he's just, you can tell he's mad. So we kind of peek in, make sure it's all right to come in. Because mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, he meant to run for him a little bit. He does. Um, it's a second degree black belt in Tung yeah. Sudo. <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't mess with him. <laughs> um, we, 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 yeah, yeah there you go. <laughs> you know what? Uh, and it's Cody is. Mm -hmm. Odians are the best. Uh, I couldn't ask for two better people to do this show with. Um, mm -hmm. What most people, you know, what you see is us. I mean, the, it, we're one way, uh, other way in. No, that's mm -hmm. that's just how we get along. Um, we're gonna we're gonna bust on each other every chance we get. Mm -hmm. um, you know, but then on the other side of that, um, you know, my brothers know where I'm at mm -hmm. and I know where my brothers are at. Right. And I couldn't, I couldn't ask for, you know, for a, a better group of guys to this way. Mm -hmm. Just like tell Josh though. I need to get him on next. He's going to be the next one lined up on my, on my connection. I'm going to have him come on. Soon. Go. Yeah. Don't, don't tell him I said. Oh. And I'm also working on getting Briar Wellington on. He's going to be coming on soon. There. Of Howard Slut. Yeah, I'm, look, I'm looking forward yeah. to it. I heard so many stories that he could tell. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun to go through his head and pick his brain. Yeah, another side. Mm -hmm. But uh, I will let you do all your plugs for the promotion of. All right. Well, thank you. Podcast. Um, <laughs> you you can uh, you can catch us live 
on Sundays at 8 for Wrestling Rage. Um, you can catch us on Tuesdays. We move the time now. It's 8 p.m. for uh, for MIW. Um, we're on Twitter now. Cody keeps adding you know all these new things to uh, to take us to that next level. Um, but you know you can find us in the in the, the group page. Um, we always put stuff on the group page. Um, you know, and we tell our Michigan Weekly and put the stuff on its view. It, we put that up there. You know, um, people who want to hear your experiences, we want to see your pictures. Um, man, just just come and enjoy yourself. Um, you know, when you when you get to the page, you're home, um, and treat it like you're home. Oh, don't forget about t-shirts. T-shirts. Oh, like the sponsorship. Oh, the t-shirts. <laughs> yeah. Okay, right. here we go. You're welcome. No, the, the, the t-shirts. $20 or four times, maybe even 10. So we talk time. Got to get a hold of, uh, Get a hold of me, Josh, or Cody. And you. All right, don't forget about Happy Harbor ice cream. I better put that in there too. All the time I said that. Still hear me? Yeah, I got you. No, oh, it's the lag. It's that weather. It Damn nature. It's that nature. <laughs> Goddamn mother nature. But you know what? Danny, thank you so much for coming on. Maybe I, ooh, maybe I can come on a show. Ooh, again. I, I, ooh, maybe I can be your guest. Ooh. Ooh. You know what? That would be fun. And I appreciate this. Yeah. Um, we, uh, that's you know, that's what um, we do. We we, got, we fun. We have to do this. This is that's this is what, what branching out is all about. You know, podcast to podcast. But come on, you want to be on my show? I'll be on your show. Hey, come on. There you you know, it is, like I told Cody, there. I'm gonna like I told Cody, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna put I'm gonna get everybody's info on here and I'm gonna actually get I'm gonna put Michigan on my website, my official Deathmatch Russell podcast website, get it updated and put links up there for everybody to see. Michigan wrestling, and maybe I'll even put a video or two. Appreciate it, man. Absolutely. I think we're lagging again. Yeah, I want to say good night. I'm going to play my play my outro, and I think I'll be good. I'll just shut it off. I'll I'll exit you out. Thank you for having me on. And have a good night. Be safe, man. You too. Be good, man. Thank you. You too. Fans, I want to say thank you so much. I don't know if it's lagging anymore, but I just want to say thank you to my guest. Is he still here? Yeah, he's still. Oh no, he's still there. He's just he's just peeking to the camera there. But uh, I want to say thank you for uh, to Danny Beals of. <clears throat> oh man, Danny Beals of uh, MIW Wrestling Rage Radio. He's the one of the co-hosts along with uh, Cody and Josh. And uh, it's just a great promotion. I mean, great bunch of guys just get together and uh, they uh, talk about Michigan independent wrestling and much, much more and in independent wrestling all together as well and wrestling in general as well. And I want to say thank you for him for coming on tonight. I'm looking forward to getting a hold of uh, Josh. Stay tuned, fans. I will have Josh on the podcast. Um, fans, stay tuned tomorrow night. Back here again on the Deathmatch Russell podcast with my guest, manager, and referee, the one and only, my friend, Damian Saint, is going to be on Facebook Live with me. And we're going to be talking to him. 
Hey, wrestling fans, I want to mention Collar and Elbow. Collar and Elbow was founded on traditional values of professional wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product intended to connect with people on a, an emotional level. A symbolic relationship where one cannot flourish without the other. We strive to create a product that embodies our passion for professional wrestling expressed through street fashion. Visit CollarAndElbowBrand.com and use the promo code DeathMatchRussellPodcast and save 10% off when you make a purchase. Collar and Elbow where wrestling passion meets street fashion. You can find more Deathmatch Russell podcasts on the following social media, deathmatchrussell.com. Follow on Twitter at DavidNJ32 and on Facebook, facebook.com slash DJDaveNJ32. Find me on Podcast City Network at podcastcity.net, facebook.com slash podcastcitynetwork. Hit the like button and share. And on Twitter at podcastcitynet. You can hear Deathmatch Russell podcast on Stitcher Radio and on iTunes.